Now contributed knowledge. Look, look, this is this is this is called the bigotry. Look, look, this is the bigotry of denial. Of denial. Of denial. This is not bigotry. Okay, my friend. Okay. You do know where civilization starts. One second. 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 Was it, it was in Ukraine? very Ukraine? degraded. Uh, no, not in Ukraine. In Western Europe, after the fall of the Western European Empire, Western Roman Empire, it was very degraded because a lot of the knowledge that the Romans had acquired was lost with the barbarian invasions and with the pillaging and with the second, and with so, the so, so you are now saying the knowledge was already there present? Yes. Listen, listen, no, 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 this is wait. a denial, listen, listen. ultra denial. This of is history. denial. You can call it uh, denial, but let's talk. Lines. Let's talk about the Arabic history. Calculus. How did, no, How did no, calculus let, originate? No, let's, let's, let's talk about mathematics yes. and calculus. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. There were Roman numbers before there were Arabic. Numbers. Calculus is Roman numbers. There were Roman numbers before there were Arab numbers. I'm not saying calculus is something made by the Romans. The Romans did things their own Where way. Where did calculus the come from? <laughs> the science of calculus. You're not answering my question. No, I want you to focus on the specifics. Let's talk now. about history. Let's talk about yeah. history of Ma the Arabs. The, calculus. the Arabs started as a bunch of tribes in, uh, uh, in Saudi Arabia. Calculus. In Saudi Arabia. Calculus. We call it Saudi Arabia now, but back then it wasn't called. Like Why are you they not? They were united by Muhammad, and they were, and they, you know. They became Muslims. The library of Alexandria was burned. Eventually. By the sorry? Christians, yeah? Sorry? The By the Christians. The library of Alexandria <laughs> was burned. The guys, guys, calm down, calm down, calm down. Right. Let's not have so, a flame so board here. Calculus. <laughs> let's, don't, don't jump from I'm not jumping. Don't why are you avoiding calculus? I'm not avoiding Do you know history. why I bring this up? Why do you avoid history? Why do you avoid history of the Arabs? Bring the Arabs okay. were in Saudi Arabia. There was the Eastern Roman Empire in the, in the yeah. West. There was the Sassanid Empire in the East. The Sassanid Empire and the Roman Empire were at war with each other. They were weakening each other and occasionally they were attacking the Arabs because empires, Korea, empires Korea. do that. The Arabs attacked the Sassanids, they took over the Sassanids, they conquered the Sassanids. The Arabs then waged war against the Romans and they quickly took over a lot of the Roman Empire. These nomad like Egypt, tribes, they conquered the Byzantines. Yes. These nomad tribesmen, they the, conquered the one of the wars. Do you Superpower. know about the Mongols? Wait, one second. Do you know about the one, Mongols? One second, one second. How? These nomadic tribes in Arabia, yes. they conquered the world superpower, the Byzantines and the defeated, right? And the, and the, how? And the Sassanids. And how? Because they were very good warriors, because they had discipline. But most so, importantly of all, because Just because of discipline, united. they win. win. They so if you have united. discipline... How did the Mongols take over the world? How did the Mongols beat other armies that were many times superior where, where to them? Where are the Mongols? In Mongolia. No, no, no. Where's the Mongol Empire? Also, it fell. fell. Last. But they did conquer. Where is the caliphate? Where is the caliphate? Where is the caliphate? Where is the caliphate? When did the last caliphate? When, when did it finish? Huh? When did it finish? How long was Stalin? How long was it? How long I would say it's the Ottoman Empire. So basically, okay, fine. It is not surprising that we feel and we see that gentlemen like yourself with very knowledge and, 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 of, of history somehow <laughs> yeah, missed the history, history of the 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th uh, centuries that Muslim civilization contributed. I'm not denying that. What did they contribute? Okay, fine. Okay, what did they contribute? Give me some examples. The, when the library of Baghdad was uh, burned by the Mongols, it was a big hit on the golden what age of the they Islamic. Uh, what of the did they contribute? Uh, they contributed to culture, they contributed to astronomy, they contributed to maths, as you said. Arabic numbers. I'm not denying any of them. How did they? But how were they able to contribute? Because what the Quran told them: go and travel around the no, earth and see. Because they learned with the Romans, and they didn't, didn't just burn everything apart. They you learned know, with you know the what? empires that they conquered, with the Sassanids. It's a typical with European the mindset of history. The Sassanids were not even the Europeans. Maybe. No, no, I'm saying the, the, the particular presentation of history you're giving me. I mean, unless we go and learn about the real history. We will have this kind oh, of uh, hatred and bigotry. Not your history. I mean, your history. I know my history, but yeah, you don't know our, our history. You, your history is the real. You don't history, know the. But it's very flawed. Excuse me. It makes no sense. You don't. Do you know how the Europeans suppressed the Islamic history for a reason? Do you know how they lied and deceived and tortured and totally fabricated Islamic history about the Prophet, about the Quran? 
No, it's all documented, even in the Middle Ages, even just you recently know, in the 19th century. You know, uh, wow. Muslims always speak ill of the Crusades, and I'm not a big fan of the Crusades, honestly. The sounds Crusades like were it, usually what well, sounds like it. Sounds like it. It, it might like sound, like, well. sound like it, but it's not What like did that. the Mongols invent? Right. So, let's come back to let's, the point. Let's come back now. What did the Mongols invent? So now, brother, brother. No, no, brother, one, one second. Sorry, brother Mansour, yeah? This is important. You, you know, you're Kebabs, talking about it. Exactly. As if, like, the Mongols took over the world and created what? That is because the Mongols invaded and they killed 20% of human population. Thank you. On what did the Muslims do? They lived in peace because they didn't just burn Thank everything you. that they conquered. Thank you. So it's called intelligence. The it's called civilization. It's called establishing yeah, because civilization. Because they learned with those There's empires. They learned with And you're the... refusing to see it. I'm, I'm sorry to say. I'm not refusing it. I'm so he's acknowledging. Right now so he's acknowledging. He's acknowledging. Right yes. Now. So that's what I'm saying. Islam. Listen, listen guys. You can talk as much as you did like. You, did you not see? The first I didn't say Islam originated. I'm saying Islam contributed to world's knowledge. The first big Christian city to the Muslims. How come two thirds of the Christian world fell to the Muslims? And only after that they started the first crusade how is it possible well maybe because the Europeans were fighting between each other and it's not a thing of Europeans hating on the poor innocent yeah. Muslims it's a thing of everybody is at war with everybody so returning it's to the point on hand then, war. Returning and you to the guys point. are always yeah, okay. feigning this uh, uh, so, you know this no, no, innocence this no no that history returning to the point so if the Quran talks about so many aspects of, of human endeavor human contribution and then it doesn't it's get about things. The Quran. Excuse me. It's about the Arabs being I am, I am the people saying, with, uh, with a yeah, lot of see, potential. You, you throw the baby with the bathwater. That's what you're doing. Religion. I am saying it is the single contributing factor of Islamic civilization is the Quran. If you are on denial, I cannot say anything. Okay, why are the yep. Muslims not ruling the world right now? Muslims are not ruling the world because they have abandoned the Quran. And that's why we are trying to get there back to the, the Quran. Scotsman fallacy. What do you mean? Science the was declined. The reality. The when the Muslims, when the Muslims hold on to this Quran, they were the peak of civilization. Mm. But when they abandoned it, they fell. Okay, yeah, who are the right yeah, yeah. Muslims? The Shia or the Sunni? <laughs> well, right Muslim. Anyone who believes in Difference. the Quran, anyone who believes in the Quran, that's what I'm talking about. Now you're talking about political differences between the Shias and the Sunnis. It's, a, it's not a political difference. It's not as simple as that. Do they it's have different Qurans? Listen, they... Can you answer the question? Do the Sunnis and Shias have different Qurans? Yes. No. Which world do you live no. in? No. I heard Just 26 different Qurans. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. The Shia don't even see Muhammad as the um, main prophet. Are you, okay. are you okay? Yeah, I am okay. okay. Are I don't think so. Qurans. So now... Why don't you ask? There, are many there have been religious wars between the Shia and the Sunni. One, one second. There have been religious Why wars between you guys. Why don't you do us the favor after this discussion? There are many Shias here, and ask them: Do you have a different Quran than the Sunnis? Why does it matter? Why? Because I'm saying it's the Quran, the central okay. contributing factor. So your side point about Sunni and Shia doesn't matter because it's the Quran that was a single contributing factor. Do the Protestants factor. have so a now, different Bible to the Catholics? Yes. Do the Orthodox Christians have a different Bible to the Catholics? When you see Greek Orthodox, yes. Yes. They do. Yeah. Do they? Number of books are different. Okay. Yep. Fair so you have 66, 73, 82, 80, 79, different number of books. But Islam, it's not like this. So, so what I'm saying, right. you to understand the challenge of the Quran, where Quran says, if this was not from God, you'd find many discrepancies and contradictions, because you would expect a book that talks about so many things, from example of anthropology to science and biology and so on, it would make mistakes because it is not the prophet who delivered the Quran is not proficient in every single science. Like you are not a physicist, and if I asked you to quote me the gravitational constants to 10 decimal places, you'll get it wrong. So what I'm saying is, when the Quran challenges something of this nature... That is such a dead end of an uh, argument. You're telling me to recite things only a physicist could, and then when I can't recite it to you, you tell me, oh, you can't recite it, that means you're wrong. No. That's such a no. fallacy, no. such a shameless no. fallacy. I'm, I'm Try to understand the point I'm arguing. I am saying, your argument that anyone can write something without contradiction. I am saying this is not the... Not anyone, just anyone. You, you said you. I, did, I never said that. Did you not say you can write things without a contradiction? Yeah, many people can write right. things without write. a contradiction, but right. not anyone can. But the it. difference between you and the Quran is this. The Quran talks about astrophysics and biology. I've repeated that three times now already. You do not know astrophysics, that's, and uh, perhaps you don't know biology either. Evidence. Hang on, hang on, wait a second. Evidence. Hear my argument. Do you know my, what my argument is? Go Good. So, not being a proficient in a particular field, when the Quran is able to make 
a statement of physical phenomena and not contradict the reality, you know that there's a likelihood of making a lot of errors and mistakes. Like for example, if you are going to quote without being a physicist or knowledge of physics, the gravitational constants or the Planck's constants to certain decimal places, you'll get it wrong because you don't know this knowledge. It's not about whether you know it or not, I'm saying the possibility of you making the mistakes are far greater. Like the Quran would have far greater possibility of making mistakes if it didn't know the subject. But when the Quran does talk about the subject and it doesn't get it wrong, it tells you that where does this knowledge come from with certainty and confidence. And it tells you that you will not be able to find a discrepancy or an error or a contradiction. Okay. That is my How argument. How did the Mayans create a, a calendar that predicted all the solar eclipses up until the Mayan calendar ended, which was uh, 2007, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe it was a little bit uh, later, maybe in 2012, probably. But they made a calendar that predicted every single solar e eclipse ever, way, way, way after they existed. Did they make any How predictions for something else that they got it wrong? Listen, your predictions are very, very preposterous please, because please, you please. are applying you, you brought things the Mayans, in the Quran, right? which are figures of speech Excuse and are very no, no, uh, this is what you things think. very no, open to interpretation. No, no, and you're saying, me. oh, what they mean is this specific thing no, or this. You specific haven't got a clue thing. what you're talking about. I have had people here telling me that the Quran is right because they predicted that in the future, uh, different Muslim people they will not they will compete between each other, creating tall buildings. And he gave me the example of Dubai, how they have the tallest building in the world in Dubai. And I told them, listen man, that's a self-fulfilled uh, prophecy. They read about that stuff, they decided, hmm, they spoke about this very high tower, let's do it. So, yeah. Sounds so good. The, so the, the, they were, so they the, had enough no, no. money to do it. I, I give you that, very interesting. The people of Dubai, they haven't got anything else to do but to fulfill a prophecy to make Islam true. They are true. creating islands. Yeah islands out of nowhere yeah, yeah, because yeah. they have and enough can, money for it yeah. it's exactly because they have nothing else to did do they with have the money. provisions they're earlier? developing their country did they have these resources earlier and the money no here? they have it because of the oil right. so now imagine now people of ukraine in the future you know what they do they transport beam you out like from here to another place they transport what beam out you know um star trek and others you they should beam you from one place to the other. Beam and you. no one can do that, only the people teleport, of Ukraine. Teleport. teleport. Okay, they right, right. teleport. Ukraine. Now, can you envisage that now, that the Ukraine people will do it? As far as I know, we can't teleport yet. People of Ukraine. What's the question? No, no. What gives you the guarantee now to say, people of Ukraine will teleport and beam people in the future? Nothing gives me that guarantee. Well, right. Would, that he'll be right. Would you even say that with confidence? Right, precisely my point. When the hadith is narrated that this desert dwelling nomad Arab barefooted, barefooted. doesn't have even sandals and shoes, they will compete against each other in tolling the highest, tallest buildings in the world. So this is what we're talking about with certain utmost confidence in the future the prediction. It's not exactly like that. Right. Yeah. So okay. what I'm saying it's is exactly in, like your, in your estimation, you excuse me, in your estimation, if you were to give predictions of X, Y, and Z, and so on, there's a chance that you're going to get something wrong because you're not an all-rounder, you don't know everything. The Quran, as I repeatedly say, talks about various things. I can give you some examples from my iPad if you wish, from science and astronomy, biology, mathematics, Okay, and give, so me, on. give me examples of biology, for example. Okay, biology, skin. The Quran talks about how the people who will be in hellfire, and when they are punished, as often their skin are burned through, God will recreate fresh skin so that they might feel the chastisement, the punishment, the torture, the suffering. It proves nothing. What does that prove in terms of biology? What okay, think prove? about it. What does it prove? What no, happens? You, you tell okay. me. You tell me. When, I'm you, have a, when, you, have a fir, when you have a first degree burn, like you go into a very hot sun okay. and you got red, you know, almost okay. uh, face, you have a first degree burn. Can you feel the pain? You can Not feel be the pain. serious. Everybody knows about that. That's basic Everyone knowledge. If you go to the oh sun, yeah. unprotected, you will get burned okay. by okay. the sun. Good, good, good. It's no proof. Good, good, good. Ground so you'd know. So you'd feel that. the pain, right? Okay. What about third degree burn? Whenever burn third degree, that you've burnt the fat, the skin, and all the only the muscles is now and and, and the bone is visible. If I poke through a big needle, would you feel the pain? Obviously, I would. 
Precisely the point of the Quran. That's what people. Oh, oh, oh. Are you serious? Do you need to read the Quran to know that if you burn off your skin until the muscle and bone, if you pierce it with a needle, you will feel pain? Are you serious right now? Okay, because friend. you're not having any luck converting no, 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 no. me or oh, oh, anybody oh, 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 oh. else. Prepare for the shock. You would oh, not oh, feel. A, wow, it's a big shock. You would not feel man, any shock. pain. You won't Ask feel me pain, why. Mate. Why would you not feel any pain whatsoever? Well, the nerves might go berserk because of the... It's not go berserk, the nerves are all burnt. So, you would not well, feel... If you burn until the very bone, if you don't have muscle, you don't have nerves... That's what I'm telling you. You, only, you said muscle, you said no, until the muscle. I'm saying when the whole skin is burned through, all you are left with muscle and bones, okay, would you okay, feel pain? Okay. The answer is no. If you pierce so, the bone, if you pierce the bone, if you break the bone, you will feel pain. He's saying if you only had um, muscles and bones. I am saying if you pain, pierce okay, through only this. The, only the bone, only the bone no, itself. No, muscles and bones. Muscles, muscles and bones, you will feel You would pain. not feel... You will feel yes. <laughs> if there are muscles, you will feel pain. If there are nerves, you will feel where pain. Where are the pain receptors? In the, in the nerves. And where are the nerves? In the muscles. Okay, so we have to make a move, right? We have to make a move because the discussion shouldn't proceed anymore because there's no point talking to someone. Yeah, no, no, you, you have no idea what you're talking about, mate. That's what the problem is. There's no point talking to someone Listen, who doesn't understand the basic science. Okay, not all the nerves are in the muscles. I am talking about all the nerves are in the muscles. Let's get this straight. Not all okay. the nerves are Excuse in the muscles. Where are the pain receptors located in the human body? On the surface of the body? Where are they? You in tell the us. nerves. You tell us. Where, where are, are the pain receptors? Not okay, where are they? Tell me. Did you know? Tell me, where are they? Do you know? Is Did you know? First? No, apparently I don't know. They're, no, no, they are your... inside our body. The nerves are the pain receptors. Somewhere in your body. Huh? Somewhere in the body. Where are they? You, you know, you tell us. I'll show you. That's even better, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Good. I'm interested in something There different. are some nerves that are inside yeah, the muscles. Are other I'm nerves not talking about nerves. I'm talking about the, the pain muscles. receptors. So what are you talking about? He doesn't recognize you, yeah? Okay. So, I can find that example. Here is a cross section, as you can see, of the skin. Yeah? As you can see, these are the hair follicles. Yes. And these are different blood supplies. Mm -hmm different endings. So all of these receptors are located all here, yes. right? They are different nerves. Places. We have nerves in our skin, but we don't only have them Listen, in our skin. The pain receptors are located there. So you're saying that this person, when he's going through, is going to feel muscle pain, right? So when a first degree burn patient goes to a hospital, sorry, not first degree, third degree, you're saying he requires or she requires a lot of morphine, no pills. Right? But what you will see that this patient can actually have that kind of pain sensation. Why? Because all the pain receptor connects in your nerve, sending the impulse of pain to the brain and bringing it back to that place is all destroyed and damaged. Quran says, those who reject our signs, we shall cast into the fire. As often their skins are roasted through, we shall change them for fresh skins. That they may taste the punishment for Allah is exalted in power and taste wise. Taste the punishment. If yes. they remove the nerves, they won't taste the punishment. But he replaces with feel... new skin. But... Oh, does he Are replace it yes. with new skin? Yes. Change them for fresh skin. So they won't feel pain oh either God. way. No, if they burn the skin. skin and put new Listen. unharmed skin. There is no, nothing, there is no nothing pain. Listen. Have you lost your mind? Fresh skin, Have you lost fresh your mind? nerves, fresh pain receptors. Oh you burn, you feel the pain. And then it's burnt. Again fresh. So every time you constantly again again. feel okay, so the Okay, so you're using this to prove again that if we burn off the skin, we don't feel any pain. You're using this I'm as I'm using this to demonstrate to you this knowledge comes from a wise... Look, the exalted, the wise. The wise creator who not only threatens people with the hellfire, those who are going to misbehave, but he even demonstrates the mechanism and the proof of that mechanism how he's going to punish them. But there is no miracle in this. Sorry, sorry. Somebody yeah, get on, burned. So do you understand that? It will be the skin first to get so. burned. Somebody yes. in the fire. No, 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 no. It will be the skin which get affected and get burned. Right. 
So come in back to the Quranic it. presentation. Is when, it, when the is, person gets third degree burns, its body goes into a shock. The person usually passes out. You do know that, don't you? Yeah, but the person, when the person in, passed in the out, the person doesn't no feel death. any pain. And then oh when the person recovers, what happens? When the person happens? passes out. And what happens if you after? inflict enough pain on the person, if you and cut then the person's arm, the yeah. person passes out. And then when you wake up, and then you wake up, and you wake up, what happens? Are you in pain? When you wake up, whatever you, you didn't even right? know you're that you would not feel pain. Listen, listen, this is skin gap burn. There is nothing. That's the problem. You're not listening. There is nothing amazing. Are you saying it's not serious? 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 Are you one, one second. Describe, describe to me. I don't have a religion. Okay, hang on. Describe <laughs> to me a mountain. That, yeah, that's the problem. That's <laughs> your problem. Um, okay. Listen, okay. See. Sorry, but the most. Can I make it wrong? Listen, no, 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 you want to hear the answer or not? You want to hear the answer or not? Do you want to hear the answer or not? All the truth in the world. Do you want to hear that? Do you want to hear his answer or not? Can, okay. can you yeah, explain? Yeah, yeah. I don't care about can you, you, can you explain? <laughs> this is what he says. His human thing is in the there Quran and distort them enough so they distort uh, so they follow his own agenda. So they follow what you're, you're saying that they me. need. Sure. Describe you're me a mountain. It's truth. very open. You know can you explain the Quran, the Quran, in the book? Describe mountains. Can you explain? You describe. I'm not an atheist either. Describe to me a mountain from what you know from your knowledge. Can you explain mosquitoes? In the food has like the, the Everest, the medicine of, of and the, the poison. The mountains of Everest were formed because India was formed. a separated continent that went, you know, it moved I'm not with a how it's tectonic formed. movement. It moved inside the continent You're of Asia how it's and together they gradually increased the height of That's the mountains. Yeah. That's why the, you know, so the, the mountain is a landmass which is elevation from the surface up to, you know, even could be the miles and so on, right? Okay, sure. Yeah. Right. That's incorrect in most cases. You know why? Because mountains, what you see, is only a tip of the iceberg. Mountains, most of it, is actually delevation downwards. Most I told you, when tectonic plates yeah, listen, collide listen, within each listen. other, they start, you know, they start kind of uh, wrinkling up together, and they start forming mountains. So give me a, That's how every single okay, mountain so, in the world so is formed. A visual picture of a mountain, if you were to draw, would you draw like this and no, like that? they are tectonic to... plates that wait, collide wait, within wait. each other and start rising Different into mountains. After or on one some side rise up. on top of one of Excuse them. Excuse me. After some collapses, collapses, after some collision. rising up. Sometimes both of them rise, sometimes one okay. collapses, the other rises. Okay, my friend. Tectonic plates. Did we know the existence of tectonic plates 1,000 years ago? You'd say, yeah. The Greeks. As far as I know, we didn't. But Good. We might. Right. Suppose now you're describing mountains. Okay. Would you describe mountains with tectonic plates? Very unlikely. So you describe mountains what you see. And I just described you the tectonic plates. But that means I know about. If he was back then. This. If you was okay, back then, 1,000 years enough. ago, Quran is 1,434 years ago, right? Okay, enough, Even more, longer. Yeah. So, if you were to describe a mountain 1,000 years ago, of course you'd not be using the tectonic plates. You would say something like, hmm, this mountain is a surface elevation of this material of rocks or whatever, going up to a certain height, to very high and so on and so forth. Right? Would you ever, think about this now, very, 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 very you know, sincerely, would you ever have described this mountain that actually, the most of the mountain is a elevation downwards. Probably wouldn't. I don't think Probably. they had. I don't think they had the means to see that. To you know. Very good. To have enough evidence very, to see it. Very good. That, very good. That's my point. So when the Quran, the Quran explains when the it like Quran that. describes a mountain, and it says, the mountains God made like autad and autad, like a peg. When it gives you a, an analogy of a description to understand what this shape is, a peg. When you erect a tent. You put the peg, most of it on the ground, and only part of it over ground. So Quran describes mountain like a peg. Look how accurate the description of the mountain is. There was no sonar and sonography. He couldn't dig up and say, ah, oh, this mountain's actually at the bottom. So these illustrations, two illustrations so far, one about the skin sensation, the pain sensation, and, and the, about mountains, is something that you would say, even common sense knowledge would not come to this understanding. People, make people it. had third can degree burns back then. People did have it. People knew that you pass out if you have third degree burns. You pass out. You stop feeling anything because you pass out. And when you come back? That doesn't mean your nerves no, no. And when you come back, why isn't there medical literature from the Greeks and the Romans and from the If you treat the body Chinese, well enough, wait, wait, when wait. you're passed out, One moment. you will wake up and you will feel pain if they're treated. If they're why not treated, you, do you me will a favor? die. From the 
medical history of the literature that has been surviving to our day. History of the knowledge of the Greeks and the Romans and the Persians and the Chinese and the Hindus and other civilizations. Why don't you do me a favor? Find me a text where they talked about this nerve endings and sensation of pain when you have a third degree burn. I'm not saying it doesn't exist, but I would like to see it. Because the Quran, I've given you two examples. I can give you three, four, five, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. And the reason why it is statistically significant and meaningful is this this is the reason. To make a prediction just by guesswork, the probability is one over two. 50-50 for any situation to get it right. If you have two situations, one over two times one over two, which is one over four. If you have 20 situations and you want to get all of them correct without making a mistake, the probability of getting it right is one over a million, more than a million. And getting, getting it wrong is a million chances. The Quran doesn't only have 20 examples. I've got several in my iPad. Various examples. The point being is, why and how does the Quran talk about so many things about natural phenomena, about agriculture, about science, anthropology, history, economics, uh, morality and so on, and yet it doesn't seem to get things wrong. The probability theory means, by guesswork, you have a million chance of getting it wrong if you have 20 examples. And Quran has more than 20. So the likelihood of just by guesswork is eliminated even within the knowledge of statistics. That's what I'm talking about, what the Quran is. So when we are going to deal with the Quran, we have to deal with the Quran, what it is. So says, bring something you, like it, that's how you should bring. If you are I kind enough, I will answer. Big victim, you can actually see that in real life. You don't need to when you say, have a message from God saying you that. When, People knew when, in, ancient, uh, in, in the ancient world, in ancient Persia, ancient Greece, ancient Egypt, people already knew those, those things. In medieval Europe, medieval Middle East, medieval, uh, you know, Northern Africa, people knew those, those things. Because if you burn somebody sure. enough, people were already what was getting the belief, burned What was the belief of the Romans and the Greeks about the human embryo, origination of the human embryo? Of the origin, origin yeah. of the human yeah. embryo. How were the human beings formed? What do you mean? In, in the womb. Yeah, in the womb. How? Was it a fully featured human being, like this shape of a sperm and then a tail, and it just grew bigger and bigger and bigger? Or it was a human being sitting in an ovum, like this, you know? Ovum, in the egg. In an egg? Yeah. Human ovum. You know that there are stillborns sometimes. What were and the, the beliefs? The stillborn doesn't have an egg. What were the beliefs no of the, the physicians, so the like Romans. physicians, like the Greek physicians? Listen, you might say that they believe there was an egg, but I don't really believe it. Sure, sure. We have, we have, there's a stillborn. You we can have, see the fetus, the dead fetus. We have pictures even there from the 17th century, 17th century, 18th century. Even to that day, they believed in a preformation theory or somehow gradual development in, in terms of like getting bigger and bigger theory, right? Either in the sperm or in the ovum. And they claim when in 1673 or 1763, Van Leeuwenhoek, when he discovered the microscope, 1673, right? They claim and they drew the picture that this is how it is. We now know it's false. This is called scientific forgery at that time. Yeah, but so yeah. what? Every single people had some things they Look, believed in that were... how does the Quran thousands of years predating this describe the human creation creating steps from a drop emitted 